Hi, this video clip is going to be about balancing redox reactions by the ion electron method. We're going to balance all of our redox reactions as if they're in acidic solution, and we'll learn to adjust them to basic solution if that's what we require in another video. The first step is to break the reaction into half reactions, removing any spectator ions if they're present. In step two, we balance each half reaction. That means that step two is repeated. In 2A, we balance for any atom other than O or H. In 2B, we balance for oxygen by adding water because the reaction happens in aqueous solution. In 2C, we balance for hydrogen by adding hydrogen ions. Again, because the reaction happens in acidic solution and there's lots of H positive present. Then we balance for charge by adding electrons to the side that needs negative charge. Remember, electrons are always negative, so they bring down an unbalanced positive charge, or you can bring up an unbalanced negative charge. Add them to the low side if your unbalanced charge is negative, or to the high side if the unbalanced charge is positive. Then we repeat step two for the other half reaction we run through steps to a b c and d again then we multiply our half reactions by some coefficient to balance the number of electrons gained and lost the number of electrons gained in the reduction half reaction and lost in the oxidation half reaction then we add our half reactions together we simplify removing our electrons, which at this point should cancel. We adjust water and hydrogen if necessary, and we check our result, and in the end we'll know if we have a correct solution or not. So here's an example. We've got permanganate reacting with carbamate ion and producing manganese 2 and carbon dioxide. Our first step is to identify a half reaction. So with manganese in common, this is one of the half reactions. And it's our reduction half reaction because if you'll notice, manganese has an oxidation number of seven positive on the left, two positive on the right, it is being reduced. So we expect to see a gain in electrons in this half reaction or electrons appearing on the left-hand side. The first step in 2A is to balance for species other than O or H. We see that the manganese is already balanced, so we can go on to 2B. In 2B, we balance for oxygen by adding water to the side that needs it. We see that the right side needs oxygen, so we add four water. The next step, 2C, is to balance for hydrogen by adding hydrogen ion to the side that needs it. Here we see the left side needs hydrogen ion, it needs eight hydrogens. And then 2D is to balance for charge by adding electrons. If we look at the net charge, we have eight positive on the left and one negative. We have a net charge of seven positive on the left. We have two positive on the right. Because the unbalanced charge is positive, we need to add electrons to the high side in other words, I add five electrons here, so that the left-hand side is at two positive, the same as the right. We did get the electrons on the left-hand side, which is exactly what we were expecting in our reduction half reaction. The next half reaction has carbamate and carbon dioxide. We repeat step two for the second half reaction. So 2A requires us to balance for species other than oxygen or hydrogen. I need a 2 right here to balance my carbon. In the next step, balancing oxygen, I see no action is required. I have 4 oxygen on the left and 2 times 2, 4 oxygen on the right. I don't need to take any action or add any water here. I also don't need to add any hydrogen. There's no hydrogen in this reaction. So we're on to 2D now, which is to balance our charge. This time our unbalanced charge is a two negative charge on the left, so I need to add electrons to the right side. 
compensate or to balance the electrons. Here, carbon had an oxidation number of plus three, and it increases to plus four on the right-hand side. It's being oxidized, and since oxidation is lost, I expected to see electrons on the product side here, and I did. I also see electrons on opposite sides in the two half reactions, and again, that satisfies me that I'm on the right track. Well, step two is complete. Now we're on to step three. To balance the electrons in the two half reactions, I see I have five electrons being gained in my reduction half reaction, and two electrons being lost in my oxidation half reaction. I need to balance this up. So my multiple for two and five is 10. I need to multiply my top reaction by two and my bottom by five. Now I'm going to multiply everything in my reduction half reaction by two. And then I'm going to multiply everything in my oxidation half reaction by 5. At this point, the number of electrons gained and lost should be equal and opposite, and I should be able to cancel them. Often, I have to adjust my hydrogen and my water as well, because they often occur on both sides. In this equation, I see that I don't. So I simply write down what's left. And at this point, I should be able to check the result to know if I have it correct. So I'll check it for mass first. I have 16 hydrogen on the left and 16 on the right. I have two manganese in my two permanganate on the left and two on the right. I have eight oxygen and another 20, 28 on the left and 20 and eight on the right. So I have 28 on each side. I have 10 carbon on the left and 10 on the right. So all my atoms are balanced. And the only thing that remains is to check my charge now. I have 16 positive, I have two negatives, and I have another 10 negatives. So I have 12 negative and 16 positive, or four positive on the left. I also have four positive in my two MN2 positives on the right. So because my mass and my charge are balanced, I know my solution is correct.